Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got He's Alex with me because how else will I get views on YouTube? Get George Minos in, he's way more popular. That's true, actually. Where, uh, is he around today? I uh, know, I could put the mask on like I normally do, and then we could do the green screen thing. Oh, oh god, the truth's out. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've been staying at Alex's for a while, and I've realized... <laughs> Maybe like fucking two months. Yeah, and I've realized this boy, oh, he loves the delivery. So today's episode of the George Clarky YouTube channel is basically an intervention in that I need to tell you something as opposed to Modern Warfare 2 sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch an episode of Fat Families. I'm not fat, am I? Let's just jump straight into it. Watch out, Fat Families. It's time to get off your wobbly bums and melt that lard. You only got where that's gay. Is that the reason? It's a different time in the world, isn't it? I mean, Honestly, if you were gay back in the early 2000s and had a TV show, that was the only place where you were accepted. Oh, yeah, you had, you had a lot on your plate already. As, as for these guys. Because <laughs> <Hey, laughs> uh, they're obese! Obviously, got... this show is fucking grim. Even though these people have eaten a load of food, it's horrible to do a diet show. Oh, but, 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 but if they've agreed, grim. but if they've agreed to go on a show with yeah. fat families, what are you getting yourself into? How they like apply because there's no like Instagram DMs down there like oh we want to get you on a show he must have stopped him in the street and just been like fucking hell you fat heifer do you want to hop on a show with us I'm Steve Miller no nonsense fat buster <laughs> for 10 seconds in give me that you let me fuck you fuck it he's physically gripping the food away from them you had enough you had enough Maryland cookies George Clark you <laughs> fat bastard we're here to stamp out the obesity epidemic that is sweeping the UK one massive family at a time. This man hates fat people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you reckon he doesn't know when he's off the job and just goes around to local cafes? To local cafes! <laughs> Stop it, you fatty! I just, I want a breakfast. He's what Jamie Oliver wants to be, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, what was that shot? Fork cam. Strap a GoPro to the fork as you shot it in your gullet. And I'll do whatever it takes to get results. I hit them. Whatever it takes. Within reason, you need to add an asterisk to that. Yeah, man. man. Abuse them. Give them an eating disorder. <laughs> Let me in. Wrong tactic. Should have just gone. Deliveroo! Get out the door immediately. North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire? North Porkshire, more like. He does it all back for a minute, isn't he? He's just offended everybody who's got a bit of weight on him. He's offended the whole of North Yorkshire. <laughs> Call him all fat. It's one <laughs> fat family, <laughs> mate. No, no, man. This is the 2000s, man. Everyone in Yorkshire was <laughs> fat. There was no. a single skinny person to be seen. I'm about to meet a right pair of wobblers whose weight's completely out of control. Until now. Meet mum and daughter Co They look fine! Super slim Bridget and her perfectly proportioned daughter, Michelle. Think again. These two are in fact a pair of chubsters who together oh my God. scales at a very scary 35 stone. Michelle's two Why sons are they being beaten up? Old... Firstly, the balloon sound effect. That's so savage. These two are in fact a pair of fat chubsters. <laughs> and a six day working week that even food is fast. By the time I get... I hate fork cam. Can we stop that? Yeah, I don't like fork cam at all. I might start adding that to my videos. Oh, I everyone. Mean, it could be anything from a Chinese, an Indian, or something from the chip shop. Her sons are sporty, so work off all that grease. Yeah, they look fucking electric. They look like prime day Rebecca, that one. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was Lamassia. <laughs> Fattier, more like. Oh. I just can't be faffing on with the preparation. I don't know why. It's just like, it's like fruit. I like fruit, but I can't eat it because I can't... I just can't... I haven't got the patience to sit and chew it. What? Bullshit! Oh, I can't. I've, I've got the patience to chew an apple. What sort of excuse is that? Yeah, what does he do? Fucking put all of our food into a blender. Divorcee Bridget retired from a job as a catering assistant 16 months ago. That doesn't come for at all. What is that? Classic. Peculiar hand positioning. She's just trying to warm up that one hand. This is the classic safer position we will win it. I just like the fact that her camera crew's walking into a living room and she's gone. This is what I want to tell you. Have this one, boys. And has gone from being a busy bee to a couch potato. So what he's saying is, she's depressed. So he's called her a fatty, fatty, fatster. How else are you going to get her out of that zone? When I'm depressed, I love when people just go and insult me. Oh, he's chubby. Don't be so sad. Oh, I'm cheating that now. I could eat like five bars of chocolate in one go. <laughs> bit peculiar flex, how would it? I could eat five bars of chocolate in one go. Cool, so could I. I just don't. I reckon I could be sick, actually. Cool. That's a gateway drug, that is. <laughs> Stuffing in a knicker stretching 42,000 calories between them every week. Whoa. That's enough calories for themselves plus one other. 
Bull Jim Bridget is 62. Stop! You cannot call people stuff like this. No way she saw the air before this went out on TV. Oh, oh guys, wait, we did this cool, lovely show. Bridget. The horrid Henry character. Should weigh around 11 stone. But this gargantuan granny weighs in at a chunky 16 stone 9 pounds. Gargantuan granny. That's my favourite one character. <laughs> no. Down, Alex. You get too comfortable on the internet. Hi, Michelle! Hello, how, how are, are you? you? It's like meeting the Grim Reaper. You wouldn't be excited, would you? No. Oh, you yeah, you come terrified. with the wrong reaction there, love. Gradually, she comes up to the door, phone out, she goes, uh, 43? I think the code's 43. Yeah, 43, I think. It's breakfast time at the Darcia's, and weirdly, no one seems to be eating. Why don't you have brekkie then, Michelle? I just don't really have the time, you know, with, um... No one's buying it, love. They put it on a show here. Do you eat breakfast? Um, no, not really. We can't have breakfast this morning, but like I don't normally eat no, breakfast. No, I, I don't often eat, but also we aren't any stone. Getting ready for work, sorting Jake out. So you think I would be skinny, wouldn't you? I just don't think I've got a metabolism, I think. Oh, here's soul. I... Well, we've seen what they eat. Oh, it must be my metabolism. No, it's because you're scratching an Indian takeaway every night. I mean, if I got fat suddenly, I would be quite aware of the fact that it's because of my life choices. A couple of minutes ago, she was boasting about how many chocolate bars she can eat in one sitting. But you no can't idea. say that you can scram six <laughs> milky bars and then go, oh yeah, but I skipped breakfast because so you've got a bad metabolism. <laughs> What are you going to be buying from the garage? Um, well, some cereal bars and some fizzy drinks and some chocolate buttons. Some? Multiple? <laughs> and a leg of ham. Eats like Henry VIII on the way to, on the way to work. <laughs> Just bring out a silver platter. Full banquet. <laughs> Pump six for silver platter, please. That's shocking, isn't it? That's why you're fat, love. I know, darling. I like it. He's no nonsense. There's one word for it. Well, this little pit stop isn't going to help you, Michelle. Your chocolate, cereal bars and pop combo add up to a total of 500 calories. But the thing is, they've made her go do that for the show. Yeah. They've gone, look, we want to help you, but we need the footage today. I bet he's behind her going, can I have a whisper as well, please? Yeah, go on, go on, have a whisper. Have you tried these? They're lovely. Go on, have one of them. With so much spare time, she can't motivate herself to do anything. She's probably glad to see me. Someone to share her sweeties with. Fucking hell, that's a lot of biscuits. <laughs> that is a lot of biscuits. Fucking hell, that's like four cups of teas worth of biscuits. Sweet but let's sweet. face it, that's for the crew. That's why this is so unfair, yeah. man. Because <laughs> she's brought out for the crew. And then they go, oh, look at her, she loves digestives a lot. Yeah, I do. I do snack. What do you think's been the trigger then? I think it's because I'm... I'm used to being out all day, and then all of a sudden I'm not. Yeah. I just get bored. As soon as I retire, I want to die fast. <laughs> that's it. Work, 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 death. death. Preferably, <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> has it got you down? It does. Sorry. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. All he's done the whole episode so far is just look through a thesaurus for different words for fat. Mean you can call <laughs> large objects. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you. Just don't watch the episode when it comes out. Probably. <laughs> leave, okay? That leaves plenty of time for lunch, though. She's an unimpasty. Grubs up. Thank you. Grubs up. <laughs> Grubs up. Brilliant. That's kind of impressive. Goodness me. What's wrong with a cheese and onion pasty? Isn't that relatively decent? I mean, I wouldn't say it's healthy. It's got onions in it. Quite a health and onion. It is sort of just covered in pastry and cheese, though. I've got an apple, but it's covered in toffee. <laughs> Do you worry about your mum? Yeah, I worry about her heat, be weight because she could have a risk of having a heart attack. Oh, cheery, fuck me. So I've definitely got you two guys supporting me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. definitely, 110%. <laughs> it goes and he just fucking barrows of abuse. Your kids said it's all right, but you're fat too, love. No, it's actually quite sad. Well, I'm going to need all the help I can get if this is what these ladies are packing away for dinner. Chicken and mushroom stir fry, 700 calories. Seafood chop suey, 670. Chicken curry, a whopping... One. For one meal? What the fuck? This could serve like a family of seven. And you have the audacity at the start of the day to be like, oh, it must be the metabolism. So, boys, how many bottles of wine would you say your mum has a week? On a bad week, seven. On a bad week? Week! Seven a week! One a day! No, I'm not averse to the odd glass of wine. In fact, I'm quite enjoying it. He's <laughs> <laughs> just pissed on the job! <laughs> He's totally forgotten what he was there for! But these girls drink on average five bottles a week, each. Each? I thought it was 
eight ten between two people. Imagine the recycling bin. I must admit, I feel a little bit tipsy and I think I've had a drop over the top. What a lovely family. Oh, God, <laughs> you just slated them for ten minutes. What a lovely family. I reckon they're fine. <laughs> and they're just just episode, episode finishes. Coming up. I use shock tactics to get my point across. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh, what the fuck? And the medical results reveal something Bridget didn't want to hear. Do you know, this is a blessing to be told this, really. Because if you hadn't have had this test, you never would have known. Oh, bode well, does it? Coming up next, we diagnose this fat, fatty, fatty with stage two leukemia. This is the show, man. How was this allowed? And my plan begins with a shock tactic. Please don't be showing them their own grave. That is so savage. You can't show someone their own grave. <laughs> you can and he's going to do it. It may seem strange to bring the ladies to a cemetery. Yeah, there's a program about being fat. <laughs> It's not most haunted. Get them to face the reality of what the future holds if they don't ditch the fat. No. No. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> you can't do that! In loving memory of Michelle and Bridget, missing you, love the boys! Wait, he bought a headstone. God, I'd save that to be fair though. Right, perfectly good headstone. <laughs> it's a rather hoppy with you, mum. That is a horror. It's horror. You know, it shouldn't be like that. If you stay fat and eat rubbish yeah. and don't move at all, this here is a real distinct possibility, an early death. How have they just gone, I'm so glad you've brought this I, to our I attention. I fucking hit him. I'm like, what the fuck? Why have you just shown me my grave? To help them understand why I've employed this shock tactic, I've asked Michelle's boys to record a message for their mum and gran. No. No, not like as if they're dead, right? These no, 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 you haven't. It can't be as if they're dead. No, you, they can't, can't, you can't have put the kids through it too. I really like to lose weight. It's really important to me and Alex. They would lose a risk of having a heart attack for you, you and Nan. The, the right help and the right diets and the right fitness regimes, I think they can actually fulfil their dream. We love you, Mum. I think potential new YouTube duo there. Chemistry's unreal. There's something going there. I hope they've carried on. <laughs> Their YouTube channel is just purely messaging. Day by day accounts. Do Please they, stop eating. And if these two don't change their ways, this is where they could end up. And I, for one, I'm far too fond of these ladies to let that happen. But if it was anyone else, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't care. They're all right, so you know, they don't die. I didn't get along with them. Christ. Look like a beach whale. Just everything going south, isn't it? Are you noticing a, a, a much more of an increase in the amount of fat since you've retired? Mm, yeah. Fair, she's just old, bless her. This is what the whole point of retirement is. You don't have to look good in a bikini. If anything, that's a bit weird. But that's what this show is about. He's really into <laughs> old women. Whoa! <laughs> and like, he just Come wants on. to make them exactly how he wishes they were. <laughs> I'm putting mum and daughter through a batch of medical tests under the experienced eye of Professor David McCarthy. The results are in. There is some good news and not so good news. Okay. You're both morbidly obese. Yeah. What? That's a shock. Oh. I didn't expect that. No, no, no. Ooh. Do them again! Bridget, there is some concerning news that you're showing early signs of liver damage. Repairable? The good news is that it is repairable if you lose weight. The ultimatum. I mean, we'll help save her, I guess, if she decides to go on and do it. Yeah, but I won't have five bottles of wine a week. No, fucking not worth it. Just kill me. It's wine or life. I'd argue there's no point in life without wine. Yeah, I think I completely agree with that. If this continues, this could lead to cirrhosis, liver failure, and death. Mm. It's repairable though, so, do you know, it's repairable. It is early signs. Do you know, this is a blessing to be told this, really. Said no one ever. What a blessing, eh? You're gonna die. Get in. And we already got your right. headstone. Exactly, I have nothing to worry about. To motivate the girls, I've one final surprise. I've just got something I want to show you both. <laughs> Pulls the trousers up. <laughs> this Go is on. what you can have if you guys lose the weight. I've put together life-sized images of what these chubsters could look like in five years' time if they don't change their fatty ways. If somebody bought a cardboard cut out of me as a fat fuck, I would be so fucking angry. Is it really not enough? Good. The gravestone, they're telling her she could die because of her liver. Okay, turn around. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's awful. Right, they're the ones of you now. And now let's bring out the fatty! Okay, what? These are those life-size double cutouts. They never are life-size. If I show you an example. Here's one we made earlier. <laughs> That's what you did to the country. Sorry, I didn't need to get political. I, I feel like at this point they just eat healthy. Should we see if it works? Yeah, it's the end. Ladies, take off your masks. <laughs> and I want to know why they've hardly been using the gym. Knowing that we have a target of 10 hours a week. Yeah. Bridget, when Michelle was ill, why weren't you doing some treadmill work? Because I was busy doing other things. Do you know something? When I first signed that agreement, I didn't realise how unrealistic it was. Because I am a single parent. I work six days a week, yeah? When I came to... Yeah, that's messed up. You come and live my life for a week and then you tell me where you would fit ten hours in. Yeah, genuinely, though. I mean, she's spitting straight facts. What's the comeback argument here? Yeah, oh, just, we've got a TV show to make. But you said you would. Did Most it? people would love to have a gym membership on their doorstep. And I think 10 hours a week is absolutely acceptable. Well, obviously, Michelle doesn't. It's all part of his plan. She's running away. Piss her off. Now she's doing exercise. He's clever, this one. Uh, he's got it, man. He's, he's got it down to a T. <laughs> right. They've been healthy for I don't know how long now. Has it changed the... First through the door is Bridget, who back when we first met was finding... Re Can we stop with bloody fork cam? That makes me feel ill. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Bridget! <laughs> wow. Look at you! How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Bridget, you're revealed. I don't wanna ride. Have a look. I mean, well done, but has she, has she not looked in the mirror for the past few months? I think they've done, done her up, but yeah, I think she uh, does. I think she knows she's lost weight. Yeah, I think she's, she's well aware of that. You've dropped a size. <laughs> yeah, well done, babe. Hey, brilliant. I'll not carry on. I'll be like Twiggy. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of Bridget. Honestly, smashed it. This shows that bullying does work. There you go. Hi. How are you? Wow. How are you? Good to Look see you. Look at such a great job. You look great. Thank you very much. Put your hands over your eyes. I'm going to show you. I, I love it. It's so nice. I did stop snacking. I haven't drank any wine. I started it in the vape. Oh no! Back to square one! Watch his elf bars now. Can't stop. He's um, he's um. She's lost weight, bless her. They both have. They look, they look great. I just want to understand how this got commissioned. I want to understand where that presenter is now. I want to know how he got away with making a show like this. Is he still terrorising the public? He's not even on the job anymore. He's just going around there? smacking cupcakes out of people's hands. Fatty, chubster, wobbly tits. I think that's a good place to end it. Bullying does work. If you got a fat friend, just let them know repeatedly until they meet an early grade or lose weight. Either way. Less chubsters. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Go give Alex a little like. Subscribe to his channel. You already know who he is. And I'll see you uh, some uh, if I upload again. <laughs>